uh, as Tim introduced, I'm Ozeman Crispo. I'm going to present to you today my thesis entitled Spatial Segregation by Size of Bill Fishes by Cod by the 20% Fishers in the Eastern Pacific Ocean. A thesis developed in the seminar in La Paz, Mexico by the coordination of uh, Dr. Ro Martinez Rincon. So for a brief introduction of the, the percent fisheries, is a, the main type of, of fisheries tar targeting uh, tuna species and with high technology and well developed uh, in the world. And of course, in, when, the, when the boat surround and, and the, the tuna schools, it also catch another type of species as, as sharks or bill fishes or turtles, for example. And the person Per se, also used three main methods for spotting and surround the schools of tuna, and they call dolphin sets when they spot dolphins uh, in the surface water, and so as schools of tuna associated to dolphins. Uh, object set types when there are schools of tuna associated to objects floating objects in the in the ocean, and non associated set types when there are tuna schools. Uh, or in identifying the in the surface water or by the tuna, the the vessel equipment. Uh, the, this tuna is developed in in the Eastern Pacific Ocean, our study area, which is an area with a diverse oceanographic features as the California Current, the Humboldt Current, the Equatorial Current System, the West Eastern Pacific Warm Pool, Costa Rica Dome, and also is the main area affected by the El Nino effect. So all these oceanographic features make this area a, a very complex and, and dynamic oceanographic uh, region. And so in our in our research, we we focused uh, studying six main uh, bill fish species uh, by cod by this this fisheries the porcelain fisheries, uh, the swordfish, the short bill spearfish, the sailfish, striped marlin, black and the blue marlin. So those species, some of them are have a commercial value and also are targeting other type of fisheries, but they are, all of them are relevant species in, in the sports fishing activity. Also, the billfish are top predators of the marine food web, and they have highly migratory. They are considered highly migratory species, performing wide, uh, broad movements along the, the ocean basin. So these migration patterns is, are related to usually related to reproduction and feeding behavior which can be affected by the environmental variables. So the, their distribution can, can be segregated by sex or size or maturity stage by choosing a suitable habitat or a better surrounding environment for, for the, the feeding proposal or, or reproduction proposals. So with this in mind, our main objective is to, was to analyze the effect of environmental variables on species size distribution in the Eastern Pacific Ocean. For that, we first gathered some uh, the fishery data from the Inter America Tropical Tuna Commission, a monthly information data from 2003 to 2018. So it's a data set that, inf with uh, information from latitude longitude of the fishery of the fish uh, caught, on and year where, when they were caught, the, the size and species of the fish. The size in eye fork length measurement, a, star, a standard measurement for bill fishes from the eye to the to the fork of the caudal fin. Uh, as we can see here in this table, a summary of each species minimums, maximums, and average sizes captured, and the total number of individuals measured. And besides that, this this data, this fishery data, also has the information of set types and number of sets. As we can observe here, in this is the observer data from from the with the billfish bycatch uh, divided by the types of sets. So we can see that dolphin sets, for example, in red, they are mainly uh, occurring in the northern part and coast of Central America and Mexico. Uh, the no associated object set, no associated set types, mainly in coastal area along the, the region, also a bit more spread, and the object size well distributed in the whole uh, Eastern Pacific Ocean. Besides that, we also collect the environmental data so, uh, from different sources, usually online sources from remote sensing satellite uh, data, uh, with on monthly information as well for, for chlorophyll A concentration, sea surface temperature, sea surface high anomaly, oceanic El Nino index, depth of the water column, and distance from coast. So all the environmental data was were aggregated in one by one degree grid cells to have the same spatial definition 
as the fishing data, which means each fish that we had from the fishery data that was found in, in one location in a specific year and month, we also gathered the, the information, the environmental information from that, from that same place. Uh, with this environmental data in hand, we, we performed the collinearity test to check if the environmental variables have a correlation and would affect in the model, but no collinearity was found, so no variables were removed for the model. Uh, so we performed for a statistical modeling and generalized additive model with a backward stepwise, stepwise procedure where we have the full model with all the variables and we remove one by one checking by checking the lowest archaic information criterion, the best fitted model for each species. Uh, once with the best fitted model for per species in hand, we, we can perform uh, spatial temporal size predictions uh, long season, for example, for this study area. So our, our main results, our first results, if we can observe only the fishery data, uh, at this moment not divide, not uh, dividing the difference between sizes, for, but for species, we can see where the, the swordfish were, were captured, were caught, and mainly here in this uh, Baja California Peninsula area and also the region of coast of Peru, we can observe short for the short bill spear fish uh, on lowest number of catches, but while spread along the study area. Uh, for the sailfish, many occurring in the northern part of the study area and in coastal areas of uh, Central America and Mexican coast. Uh, the striped mullein, well distributed in, along the study area, but mainly caught um, a greater number of fish in the coast of Mexico. And for the black mullein, blue mullein, uh, species with more data and well spread along the, the study area. The results from the models we we obtained four four from the six uh, with a, with the old variables included we call called full models as the best fitted models and besides that the short bill spear fish the best fitted model was reduced uh, with removing year and month variables and for the striped mulling was the best fitted model uh, reducing the set type variable between the models the the, the best fitted models per species, the highest device explained was shown for the swordfish with 42.67% device explained and the lowest with the black mullein with the 5.57% device explained. So we can, with the, with the best fitted model, we can uh, observe the effect plots of each variable uh, in, the, in the species size. But for that, uh, we, I'm going to show you the three the three variables that have had the highest effect for each species. For example, for the swordfish, uh, we can observe larger, larger sizes occurring mainly uh, in temperatures under 26 degrees, which was also recorded previously recorded uh, that adults prefer uh, colder waters than juveniles. Juveniles preferring waters uh, high, higher than 24 degrees Celsius. Also, we observe a constant increase in sizes along the study years, which can be an indication of a pre previous recorded, recorded uh, uh, population recovery from previous overfishing years. So probably the species can, can, can get, it's, it's being caught with larger sizes for recovering during fish management. Uh, also, the distance variable uh, showed the uh, effect in the, in the sizes with larger animals caught in, in, in distance from coast uh, greater than 1,000 kilometers. This, in, this showing uh, the, in the map is the predictions. So we can observe that larger individuals are predicted here in the southwestern part of the, of the study area and also in the California current and the California and the, and the Bay, in the Bay of California in the Gulf of California. Uh, the, we can see that the, 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 the size predictions are, that are not very much according to, to seasons, but mainly in winter with higher uh, number of larger individuals in the same area, but not changing between areas, uh, area occurrence. Uh, for the short bill spearfish, we observed uh, that larger individuals are present at depths under 4,000 meters areas with depths under 4,000 meters, 
and also mainly in coastal waters for large individuals and mainly caught in object set types. The predictions uh, show us the same, uh, th this pattern of coastal areas with large individuals, mainly in the coastal regions of the continental land masses and also oceanographic oceanic uh, islands as the Galapagos Archipelago and the French Polynesia region. The sailfish uh, showed the effect, uh, showed, showed an effect of uh, chlorophyll A concentration with higher, uh, in, with large individuals at lower chlorophyll A concentrations and also high, large individuals in the lower surface high anomaly uh, values. As well for the set type variable, uh, the object set types uh, are, are capturing larger individuals, which can be an indication of opportunistic feeding behavior since the, in this object set, type, set types usually is an aggregation of smaller fish for another species like tuna, for example. Uh, the predictions show, the prediction maps show uh, a large area surrounding Galapagos Islands and also the coast of Central America with large individuals, and also the southwestern part uh, of the study study area. For the striped mulling, we observed larger sizes at uh, at temperatures between 26 and 29 degrees Celsius, and also larger sizes at depths under uh, lower than than 4,000 4,000 meters. The distance from coast also was an effect in the in the species with larger animals found in areas larger from, uh, uh, with higher distances from coast. So the prediction for striped mullins show this main area in the southern part uh, under 10, 10 degrees north uh, of the, the study area with large individuals and also uh, a, uh, an area with smaller individuals in here which would be correlated with the warm eastern Pacific so it is known that uh, the, the striped mullein move towards south, southeastern areas for spawning as they are they grow. Uh, so it's an area that it's known that it's for uh, it's a it's an area of growing uh, striped mullein, and they also move uh, southwards to 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 reproduction uh, propose. The black mullein showed that an effect of. Uh, showed a response of uh, large individuals at depths uh, around 3,000 areas with depths around 3,000 meters. And chlorophyll A values in lower chlorophyll A values also for higher for largest animals and higher values of sea surface high temp anomaly uh, with larger animals also occurring. The predictions for this species showed uh, an area in the south, southeastern mainly uh, with large individuals and also a bit more, a bit larger in the in the California current. The blue mullein saw large, larger animals in a temperature range between 26 and 28 degrees, with higher uh, at higher higher seasonally also larger individuals found. And in this species, we found a a, a trend to reducing sizes along the years, which can be a response for of overfishing since overfishing affects the population size composition by reducing means or mean sizes of the species and also was previously recorded that the, this species is exploited and the maximum expected yield but not uh, the last the last stock assessment doesn't uh, does indicate the overfishing so far so the prediction map is also showing large individuals in the southern part of the the region for a general conclusion, we can observe for each species, uh, mainly uh, large individuals related to coastal areas and some in the southern part of the ocean, for example, for striped mullein, sailfish, and blue mullein, black mullein, large individuals in the southern region, and small individuals are spread in all different oceanic, uh, oceanic areas. As well, the, the spatial segregation observed in this in this research uh, does, didn't have uh, a, a variation between seasons. So we we observed the size spatial segregation, but with with no variation uh, along the year. And thank you very much.